Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithben.com and welcome to the new YouTube studio. I wanted to create a quick video to show you guys what we've been working on in this past month. And I know it might not look like much, but this has really been a labor of love. And I thought I'd give you a behind the scenes look at how we transform this spare room in our house into our new YouTube and blogging studio. Now, before we dive in, if you enjoy this video or if you get some value out of it, I would greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it allows you to stay up to date with all the videos that come out in the future. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. Okay, so if you're familiar with my channel, you probably know that I typically create my blogging tutorials in my home office, which is in another room over there. And don't get me wrong, that's a great space, and I have a lot of things that I get accomplished there, but it was getting kind of confined and it made filming my YouTube videos somewhat cumbersome. So that's one of the main reasons why we decided to convert this room into a YouTube and blogging studio. Now, where I'm sitting right now used to be our music slash storage room. And to be honest, it was kind of an eyesore and wasn't really being used to its full potential. So my wife and I got to work and began the makeover. First, we had to break things down and clear out the clutter so that I could lay out the new rug that we purchased for the room. So I got to work on removing the larger items, and as you could see, I had some little helpers along the way. Now, the main purpose of this new rug was to help absorb some of the echoes in the room, but it also helped brighten up the room as well. Plus, the kids really liked it too. After that, it was time to add the centerpiece of the studio, which was a new autonomous smart desk. These are electric standing desks that allow you to easily change their height, and this particular model is the Smart Desk Core, it's height adjustable between 29.4 to 48 inches. You can program the settings. It lifts 265 pounds, has a solid steel frame, an electric dual motor, and comes in various colors and designs. And I own two of these desks and can't recommend them enough. I absolutely love them. And since I planned on doing some blogging tech reviews in the future, this desk was a great addition to the room. Now, the autonomous desk in my office is all black, but for this new studio, I went with the all white. Again, I wanted a lighter atmosphere in this space and the all white desk definitely helped me accomplish that. Then after the desk was put together, we began clearing out the rest of the furniture and started prepping the room so that we could repaint it. Now, I probably should have waited to put the desk together until after we repainted the room, but I was too excited when it arrived, so what are you gonna do? Anyways, after years of kids running around the house, there were some handprints on the walls along with some artistic crayon drawings and probably some smeared peanut butter as well. So repainting this room was way overdue. And after we taped off the walls and covered the desk with plastic, we began painting. Now first we were gonna paint this room all white, but ultimately we decided to keep the original color. It still kept with the airy look and feel of the room and it matched the rest of the house, Plus the kids were able to get involved and help out. It was a lot of fun. Then once the paint dried, I hung up the new curtains. Now, we were originally using these dark brown outdoor patio shade blinds in this room, which in hindsight was an awful choice to begin with. And let me clarify that that was my awful choice. My wife had nothing to do with that choice. She wants me to let you know that. So these new all white blackout curtains were a much better fit. Plus, since they were blackout curtains, it would help us control the sunlight that came in through our sliding door. After that, I added some background LED lights in each corner of the room. And I love the minimalist look and feel of these lights. Plus, they allow me to change the color of the light with this little remote. It's pretty cool. Next, it was time to install the soundproofing. And this was going to help reduce the echo in the room and also help with the overall quality of the audio. I found these great soundproof panels on Amazon from a company called ATS Acoustic. And instead of using the dark colored soundproof foam like I used in my home office, I went with these ivory panels. And I'm really glad I did. This was exactly what I was looking for and it gave the room a much more professional look. Now, there was a little bit of DIY handiwork that had to be done when it came to hanging these guys on the wall, but once I got them situated, they looked great. They're almost like functional wall art, and I really, really love the way that they turned out. Then it was time to upgrade my studio lighting. Now, I don't even wanna tell you how many LED and ring lights I own, but 
If I was gonna do this right, I wanted to make sure that I had some professional grade lighting. And that's why I upgraded to the GVM LED Studio Video Light Kit. And what I really like about these lights is that they can serve different purposes depending on what I'm shooting. For example, they have a color control feature that lets me change the color of the lights. This comes in handy if I wanna use them for backlighting. Now, as you can see, the different colors create this cool halo effect that can help change the look and feel of the scene. They can also be used as key lights, making my videos look a lot more professional. And what I really like about these lights is that they can connect to my phone via Bluetooth and I can change the color, hue, shade, and type of light all from their app. Really cool. Another addition to the studio was this C stand. And this particular stand is made by Impact Studio Lighting. It's all chrome, super sturdy, and our main reason for getting this was so that we could film overhead and bird's eye view footage. It was pretty easy to assemble, and once put together, we were able to create some great content. Cheryl was able to use the C-Stand for her food blog photo sessions, and I used it for some overhead footage for a product review video. So far, this has been a great addition to our studio gear. Next, the audio portion of the studio was made possible by my Shure SM7B dynamic microphone. This is my go-to mic for the majority of my videos and tutorials, and it's an industry standard when it comes to vocal recording. I absolutely love this mic. When it comes to video, I've been using my wife's Nikon D750 DSLR camera. Now, this particular model isn't really made for video, and are there features I wish it had when it came to video? Sure, but when you're on a budget like we are, this camera is perfect. Next, it was time for a teleprompter. And believe it or not, I used to memorize what I was gonna say in all my videos, but after hours of painstaking practice and a ton of messed up takes, I finally gave in and purchased the iCan Homestream teleprompter. This is a portable smartphone teleprompter that is super lightweight, supports iPhones and Android devices, utilizes something called 7030 beam splitter teleprompter glass, that's a mouthful, has a home stream teleprompter app for iOS and Android, and comes with this Bluetooth remote control. I honestly can't imagine shooting my tutorials without it. And finally, we have the Zeppin Micro 2 motorized slider. I picked this up so that I could film slow motion B-roll footage, and this little guy did not disappoint. The Micro 2 allows me to attach my camera to this motorized slider, where I can then create smooth, slow motion B-roll footage. It also has an app, and it's opened the door to creativity. I can't wait to use this in more videos. All right, well that's the new studio. I'll definitely be adding to it in the future, but I was just so excited about the renovation that I wanted to create this video and share how it turned out. And if you're looking to make over your studio space, hopefully this gave you some ideas and inspiration. Also, everything I've mentioned in this video will be linked below in the description, so be sure to check those out if you get a chance. All right, so with that being said, thanks for watching, but I gotta get back to work. So, I'll see you next time. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.